from Prima Media in Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. South African state-owned defense group Danel used the opportunity of the recent Africa Aerospace and Defense Exhibition to launch a new aircraft project. Keith Campbell was there. The project is being headed by two Danel Group companies, Danel Aerostructures and Danel Aviation. The proposed new aircraft is currently being referred to as the SERA, an acronym for South African Regional Aircraft. Danel Aerostructures CEO Ismail Dokrat explains why the project is being launched. There's a couple of reasons. The, most, uh, the three most important of those reasons is that we, uh, we believe there's a need in the market. We believe that people uh, are looking for a, a safe, affordable uh, transport solution for South Africa, for Southern Africa, for Africa, for point-to-point -point, uh, air travel on lower density routes, number one. Number two, we believe there's a gap in the market in terms of the technology that's out there for a 24-seater aircraft, uh, pressurized, with, uh, that can fly you know, above the weather, uh, that has the, the right kind of certification uh, to do scheduled flying. Uh, the, 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 the current platforms that are in the market are older technologies and we believe our, our, our solution, our platform uh, w would be more economical um, and, uh, and more efficient. And then we believe there's a very strong need, very importantly, for us to, uh, to find a national flagship to, to drive development in the South African aerospace industry uh, you know, over the next decade and to give young people entering this industry an exciting program to be, to be part of. Dokrat gives some of the details of the SERA, including its likely passenger capacity. Between a, a 15 and 24 seat aircraft, depending on the kind of configuration, uh, three abreast. What's interesting, although the aircraft looks very small, you can actually stand upright in this aircraft and it's been designed in that way so that it's, it's, it's got quite a, quite a, um, a big uh, you know, volume. It's going to be fairly comfortable inside. You know, my, uh, my engineers tell me that the kind of feeling that they want to create in the aircraft is that when you're sitting in the aircraft, although it's very small in terms of the number of rows relative to, let's say, a single aisle aircraft, you're going to feel as if there's a whole lot of rows behind you. So that's the kind of feel we're looking at for the aircraft. Uh, laminar flow technology so that we can reduce uh, drag and have the maximum um, uh, uh, you know, efficiency in terms of fuel. That will be a very important component of the aircraft. Um, turboprop, uh, but a very smooth ride. Other news making headlines this week. Funding for student housing is a top priority for the Departments of Higher Education and Training. Statistics released at the end of 2012 by the Departments of Higher Education and Training indicated a backlog of about 200,000 university beds. Since then, the department's prime focus has been on student housing funding, with the National Treasury allocating 6 billion rand to the department for infrastructure funding from 2013 to 2015. Enrollments at universities since 1994 have doubled. Okay, so we've got a doubling of student intake. HESA, which is the Higher Education South Africa body for vice chancellors, presented to the Portfolio Committee on Higher Education and Training in March. And their comment was that notwithstanding the huge uptick in enrollments, the, the funding from a budgetary perspective, whether you look at it relative to CPI, whether you look at it relative to a per student cost per head, whether you look at it relative to percentage of the budget, within uh, the Treasury allocation has not kept pace uh, in real terms uh, uh, or as a percentage of GDP over that period. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.